Hello everyone and welcome to Multilingual. Great to see you here. Thank you for joining me today. In today's class, let's talk about verbs with particular prepositions. I'm sure you know these verbs. However, you might not always get the preposition right, especially because it can be different in your own language. Are you interested? Then let's start. I'd like to interact with you during this video. How is it possible? For each verb with prepositions, I'll be giving you my personal examples, followed by a question for you to answer in the comments down below. I think it will allow you to practice on the spot as well as memorize the things much better. Remember, if we make examples about ourselves, they stay longer in our memory. So please pause after each question and write your answers. All right, let's begin. So the first verb is listen. Listen to music. Listen to radio. Listen to someone. Listen to. Well, as for me, I love listening to popular music. I also listen to audiobooks a lot. I don't listen to radio much. Only because of music or news sometimes. And what about you? What do you like listening to? The next verb is to agree. You agree with someone or disagree with someone. Agree and disagree with, not to. I think that May is one of the best months of the year. It starts getting warm up and everyone is looking forward to the summertime. Do you agree? with me or do you disagree with me? What do you think is a better month of the year? Leave it in a comment down below. The next important verb is to depend. My mood often depends the weather. What preposition is missing? Right, on. My mood depends on the weather. If the sun is shining, I'm always in a better mood. And what does your mood depend on? Number four, to get or to be married. Get married to, on, with. To get married to. Lots of my friends got married to their colleagues. Some of them got married to their schoolmates or to their childhood friends. Who did your friends get married to? Or maybe who are you married to? To a schoolmate, to a guy, a girl in university, or maybe to someone who you met online? To apologize. To apologize means to say sorry. Apologize Mm, someone, mm, something. You apologize to someone for something. Sometimes I have to apologize to my friends for my late replies to their messages. Thank you for not getting mad at me. What do you apologize for? For your mistakes, for coming late, and who do you have to apologize to? Number six, to suffer. You can suffer mm, a disease. Suffer from. I personally do not suffer from anything, but my grandfather suffered from diabetes. What do you or someone you know suffers from? Number seven, to apply, to apply mm, a job. Which preposition you think is right? Four, 
You can apply for a job, for a scholarship, for an internship, for citizenship, for a grant, for financial support. In 2017, I applied for a scholarship in Oxford and I got it. What about you? Have you ever applied for anything? What did you apply for? Number eight, to complain. Say that you're not satisfied. You are in a hotel room and there is something wrong with it. So you can go downstairs and complain, mm, the receptionist, mm, your room. To and about. You complain to someone about something. You can complain to the receptionist about your room. Once I complained to a store manager about a moldy product. That happens a lot with avocados, do you know this problem? They look really nice in the supermarket, but when you open them at home, they're black inside. So you have to throw them away. What an annoying situation. Who have you ever complained to and about what? The next verb is to spend. Spend money, mm, lottery tickets. The preposition is on, not for. You can spend money, energy, hours, time on something. I can spend hours on watching YouTube videos. There is so much helpful content here. Concerning money, I like spending money on education, language courses, books, seminars, but also on clothes and cosmetics. And what do you spend your time and money on? And the last verb for today is to belong. It belongs me, which means it's mine. Belong to someone. You need the preposition to. The studio where I'm filming doesn't belong to me. It belongs to a very good friend of mine. Yosha, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. And what about you? What belongs or doesn't belong to you, but maybe you would like to have it? That's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check another one on adjectives with prepositions and another one on nouns with prepositions. So, see you there soon. Bye for now.